everybody, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to make a Christmas tree charm that you can use in a pendant or a bracelet or as a zipper pull. In this tutorial, we're actually going to make a pair of earrings. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to the studio. I'd like to talk about the um, tools and materials that we'll need for this project. Um, I have uh, the polymer clay and I have about a half inch ball of green. And this is um, Primo green mixed with a little bit of black to tone it down just a, a little bit, make it a, a bit darker. I have um, a quarter inch of brown, and this will be for the tree trunk. I have um, an eighth of an inch of yellow, and this will be for the topper. And then I just have a string of um, red, and you can see that it's, it's um, fairly thin and it'll be the garland that'll go around the tree. A couple of um, eye pins, jump rings, and then we'll need a couple of ear wires. Tools we'll need are the um, couple of pliers, a chain nose and uh, chain nose and um, a round nose plier. And then we'll need some chunky white embossing enamel. You can actually use any kind of enamel uh, or embossing powder that you want. Uh, to add a little bit of snow, or you could just use some white clay and uh, put little bits of clay around the tree to make the snow. Um, I'm using this chunky white enamel because I think that looks kind of nice. So those are the tools and materials that we need. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have our uh, ball of green clay, and we're going to go ahead and start with this. And I'm going to actually start to roll it out like this and just start to elongate it with my fingers, just kind of moving my fingers out until I get... Um, enough that I can start to do the wrap on this tree and you can see that it's thicker on this end and I thin it out as I move down the length. Alright, so that's about right and that's maybe about I don't know four or five inches. I will then take this and I'm going to start to just wrap it and uh, rotate it around. Move it like this so you can maybe see this a little bit better. And it just twists around. And that's forming the tree. And then I'll press this down just a little bit. There. And you can see that I've got a little bit of a tree shape there. I hope you can see that. Then I'm going to take this bit of um, the ball of the brown clay and I'm just going to pat it down to it forms a little bit of a coin. And I'm going to put that on the bottom for the trunk. And it starts to look like that. The next thing I'll do is take the red snake, the really thin snake, and I'm just going to start to make a garland and I'm just going to freeform this around like you would a garland and uh, just to kind of wrap that, giving it some little bits of twists and turns as it goes around the tree. pressing it in so that it adheres. Oops. There. And I have a garland. And I'll just press that in a little bit. That's what it looks like. Great. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this eye pin, uh, this is actually a head pin, just straight through the center. Oops. And I'll just 
make sure that that's around the uh, head pin. Okay. I'll put out just a little bit. Let me put it on a card so that um, I can put it back in the... I'm just going to put a little bit. That's quite a bit more than you'll need. I'll put a little bit and I'll just use my finger to pick up just a teeny little bit of that and start applying it. And I don't want to put too much on. I just want to simulate what a snowfall might look like. Just a light snowfall. So you can see that I've got that sort of around the tree. And then the last thing I'll do is go ahead and put my little topper on. And I'll slide that down and make sure that it's adhered. There. And then I have my little Christmas tree. I will go ahead and cure this at the manufacturer's instructions for about um, 45 minutes. And as soon as that's cured, we'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay, welcome back to the studio. These are done um, and they're cooled. And I've already assembled one. I, I made two um, because I'm going to use these as a set of earrings. So I've already assembled one. So let me show you how we finish these up. Remember we put the head pin um, through the earring uh, or through the charm and um, what we've got here is the the um, the uh, remaining piece that I'm going to form into the loop and I'll just take my looping pliers my uh, round nose pliers and just make a loop And then I'll just adjust this a little bit so that it closes up. And I have a loop. I've already opened um, one of these jump rings that we had from the materials list. And I will thread that charm on the jump ring. I will put the ear wire on. And then we'll close this up. And there you have it. We have a cute little pair of Christmas earrings. I think this would be a fun project to do. Um, with the kids, of course, with supervision because you'll be using the hot oven, but uh, minimal tools to make these cute little uh, Christmas tree earrings. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I appreciate that you joined me in my studio. Thanks and take care until next time.